my name's Renee and this is my cash stocking journey. If you're new here, thank you so much for taking a chance and clicking on my video. I hope you decide to like, subscribe and stick around for a while. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for your ongoing support. So today <coughs> I made a holiday binder. It's just a plain, it's just a plain one. Um, the categories are uh, food, fun, spending, can we, and parking and tolls. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull <coughs> the money out of my binder from all of the challenges that were going towards our um, trip away. Um, because I pre-film everything, you're not going to actually see the stuffing of this um, probably for another three weeks. Um, but we are going away next weekend and no more money is going to go, is going to go in. So I'm going to pull all that out and then we can divide it up. So, okay, the first one is the Celebration and Mermaid. The next one is all of these ones, and I think that's all in this one, yep, and then out of out of the annual binder, it's birthdays. There was $110 out of the um, birthday envelope. There was, I'm going to clean these off and then redo them. Um, and that will probably go towards our next vacation because I did, I found it really, um, really helpful to use all the mini challenges to roll over into our vacation. I've already decided where we're going to go next time. Um, I don't think this is going to work. I don't have enough space. This kind of video is on the fly, so I haven't, like, I haven't cleaned off my desk or anything. And I usually have to, like, nearly completely clean it all off for me to do anything with it. Okay, so out of that one, there's 20, 30, 40. There's $40 out of that one. That was the Galaxy one. Probably should have planned this better, but you do what you do. Okay, and then out of the 85 the one, there is 5, 10, 15, 25, 30. There is 30. Out of the heart one, there is 20, 45, 55, 60. <coughs> the weekend away. There is 40. The mermaid one. Um, I will print off this. There was, what was that? 20, 40, 60, 80. In that one. And then this was one of the bigger ones, was the celebrations. And that's got 100, 20, 45, 55. Okay. So, I think this is going to be a bit too hard. Let me find my cash tray. Hang on. Right, I'm back. So, I have one, two, three, four. When I get my taxes, I'm taking 4000 out. And that's going to be towards our spending money and a little bit of a splurge on a surprise item. <coughs> um, so I'm, we're going to leave that money in the bank and either get cash out when we're there and we need it 
or just use our card but that's how much is budgeted and then on top of that just give this a quick count because even I don't know how much is in it we've got 100 50 200 220 40 60 83 20 40 60 84 4, 10, 4, 15, 25, 35, 45, 55, 65, 75, 85, 95, 505 dollars. So that's actually more than what I was expecting, especially because I took out, um, I think it was, it was 200 dollars for our hotel room for the night, and then it was 430 dollars for the owl experience. So I've already taken that out of the savings challenges. So um, I saved up a pretty pretty decent amount and if we didn't have this splurging money we could definitely go away on this and still have a really good time but <clears throat> tax time is generally splurging for us because everything is so tight throughout the year like tax time that's when we splurge that's when me and Les go shopping we go that we take the kids shopping we get clothes we get any furniture we need um, any like lawn equipment like Les is getting an um, like an edge attachment for our lawn something I don't I don't know he just tells me he needs it and I I figure it out um, so he's really looking forward to that um, <coughs> um, so we've got a pretty big surprise planned for the kids um, yeah so really looking forward to it now the reason there is not a food option in here I mean a fuel option in here is because I have a um, package vehicle um, our fuel is covered which is amazing in today's age because apparently the fuel is about two dollars a litre and there's four litres in a gallon so it's about it's about eight dollars a litre <coughs> I mean eight dollars a gallon um, <coughs> which is just it's really bad and like because we're traveling so far and then all the driving when we're around there and then on the way back like fuel would have taken a big chunk of our money so we're really really lucky in that regard so <coughs> uh food fun is more um like for any of those little fun things that pop up like if the if the kids want like a souvenir from the owl experience um <coughs> If there's like a place that they see that they want to, they want to do, um, like we're going to build a bear. There's a build a bear, um, shop in where we're going. So I thought I could, we could take the kids in and see if Evelyn or William wanted to make something. Like that's the kind of the little things that you didn't really budget for, but that kind of pop up out of nowhere. <clears throat> um, spending, you know, about can we now? I actually got this from. Um, balance and budget and she has a can we envelope in her wallet and it's basically for whenever the kids say can we get a treat when you stop for fuel can we get this little tiny trinket can we <coughs> go over there and get wh whatever it's all of the little things that the kids might like if we're at the checkout and we see like a little tiny thing and a little toy or something it's for that stuff and then parking and tolls. Where we are going, the place does have like parking fees. Um, I'm not sure if we're going to be there long enough to get parking fees because usually I think it's like the first three hours or the first hour or whatever are free. Um, but I'm just going to put some money aside anyway, just in case. And tolls. I do have an account and we do have a, um, it's like a little thing in our car that when you go through your tolls, it clicks and then it comes automatically off our account. Um, but I did want to have some cash in hand so that I can replace the money on our account. I'm probably not going to put too much in there, but yeah, we'll see. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm actually, I'm going to stuff this, but then before we actually go, I'm going to probably swap this out for $50, um, only because it's really hard to get a straight, um, $100 in my town and I don't like spending them. <laughs> so I try and keep them if I can. Okay, food wise, now we're not leaving until probably late morning, so we're gonna have breakfast here. We're probably gonna have lunch on the road, so that is going to be that's gonna probably be $50 at least. 
then there's going to be breakfast the next morning. No, there's going to be dinner that night, which we are aiming to go out. There's a big um, sports club close by, and they've got like this really nice um, buffet where it's got like seafood and roasts and all that kind of stuff. So I think we're going to go to that. So do you think if $150 would be enough for that? I think it would be. And then, um, and then we're going to need breakfast the next morning and then lunch. So 20, 40, 20, 40, 60, 80, 1. So I'm going to do another 100 for that. So the bulk of our money seems to be going on food, to be honest. <coughs> I wasn't expecting that actually, but now that I break it down. Although we are going to have like a kitchenette in our room, so it might be worth taking like just something for breakfast so we can just get lunch on the way home. Hmm. Or like lunch when we're at that the big fancy shopping center. So 100, 150, 200, 220, 40, 60, 83. So $300 in food. Okay, so fun, I'm probably not going to put too much in. So 20, 40, 60, 81. So I'm going to put 100 in one, but I think I'm going to break it down a bit more. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 5, 35. 10, 15, 20, 45, 50. I'm going to do 50 in five dollar notes. And then 50 in... 220s and a 10 just so, because it, it's going to be like a packet of chips like things like that so uh -oh. I don't know I might change that one I'm not quite sure okay spending is getting the 4,000 so one two three four <coughs> um can we um, actually, I might go back and do tolls. So, parking, I'm assuming 25 would be enough for parking. And tolls, I think it's generally 50. So, 20, 45, 50. Um, you know, actually, no, because when I redo my tolls, it costs me $25. So I'm going to put I'm going to put 50 in there for the tolls and parking. So that should be any parking, and then to re um, like when your when your account gets below 25 dollars, they automatically take 25. So I'm going to put 50 dollars in there, and then the rest of it is going to go into Canly. So we've got 25, 35, 45, 55. So 55 dollars in Canly. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I might put a blank envelope in the back um, and keep all of the receipts and then we'll see, we'll see what we come back with. I might even hold off on the, publishing this video until we're back and then I can see what, I can completely compare it to what's left. Now, am I going to be mad if we spend everything in this binder? Absolutely not. If we come back with money, that's a bonus, but I plan to spend all of it. Um, so yeah, we'll see what happens. Thank you so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. Remember to live, laugh, love. And when life gets hard, just roll in glitter. Bye, guys.